Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. I wouldn't normally post anything like this, but I think too many people jump to a conclusion, I should say, before having all the facts. Now, first of all, let's think of that, that day. In the morning, one of the top Islamist preachers, whatever you want to call them, was found guilty and is due for sentencing. In the afternoon, a man from the armed forces was stabbed, attacked and stabbed to death. While all this is going on, they've had three incidents at Manchester Airport. One apparently on a plane, on the plane. One in the luggage department where you either where you collect your luggage, and this one. Three incidents in one day at one airport. Come on, right? So I'm going to show you this video, and we're going to watch it first. And then we're going to, I'm going to slow it down. We're going to watch it at normal speed. Now I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it right down so you can watch it. Hold on, let me just get this one. Now watch very carefully how this all goes on. Here's the police officers. Airport police. Approaching the light in blue. Watch this light here. This lad then comes round and attacks that police officer, gets him down, and is punching the shit out of him, right? He's fighting back, he gets back up, he gets control, he's got the stun gun. Right, now, I want to go back a bit. Before we get to that part with that guy. Right. Now, watch here, this over here. Right? This police officer's got his arm. Bump. She's down. Broken nose. This woman goes in then. He gets her. Oh, but he wasn't happy then. He still wasn't happy because look. Bump. Straight to the head. Again. Punching him to the head. This woman, back up on her feet, got the stun gun out, bump, down he goes. However, the police officer who he was attacking did not know at the time that he had been hit by the stun gun, whatever you call them. So as he fell, right, we're going to go back again, as he fell, watch, I don't see if I think you can see it very clearly. Right, no, this gun. Watch his hand. His hand is going down to his gun. His hand is under his body there, but then it comes out. He's mad as hell. Because that guy was not giving up. That guy would have gone for his gun. And if that guy had got his gun, I don't know what could have happened. Right? And then you've got is two days later, you've got his, his lawyers coming on saying, oh, first time in the country, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's got a cyst on his brain and he can't go out and he can't do this. And he... Right? But come on. 
You're tacking. Airport security. I know it isn't the clearest of video. Right? It's not the clearest. But you can actually see this guy here and his brother attacking these three police officers who are all armed. I say again, they are all armed. They could have shot them in the leg, anything, but they didn't. They got their stun guns out, whatever you call them, right? They got them out. I would be pissed off if I was that officer. And all I felt was somehow this guy who's attacking me from behind, his hand going down to where his gun is. Now, he's having to hold the laser gun out still on that other guy. So we can't stop, control what this guy's hand is doing behind. We can just feel his hand going down there. He's open because he's got the laser gun on the other guy. I would be mad as hell as well. Now, I'm sorry, but this bloke, this officer's been suspended. He may lose his job. I don't think he should. I don't think he should lose his job. Right? They come... I'm not... I don't want to go into all this political... He said, she says, all that stuff. I don't. I just want to look at the facts. And the facts is, this guy here, in the blue, which I'm pointing to now, this guy here, resisted arrest. Don't know what the arrest was for. The attack at Manchester Airport drew widespread condemnation after a video emerged of a man kicked and stamped in the head. Right? Now, this is why I was like, hmm, I was like with my son the other day. I don't know. We don't know the full story, which we didn't. But more details have emerged since including a new video. Footage of the moment, chaotic moments leading up to an arrest at Manchester Airport led to swift criticism, criticism of officers' handling of the event. But now, new video has now added further context. The new footage is believed to show the moments before a man was kicked by Great Manchester Police GMP officer in the head as he lay on the ground. The footage of the incident at Manchester Airport's Terminal 2 quickly went viral on social media and led to swift condemnation, condemnation from many. A large crowd gathered out Rox, outside Rochdale Police Station on Wednesday evening with many condemning the officer's conduct. GMP would like to suspend police officer from duties following mounting criticism online. What? Because the people online say, like, oh, that was wrong, he should not have done that, blah, blah, blah. They've suspended him. This is possibly a, a man with a family, right? That woman who got a nose broken, she could be a mother, a wife, a sister. You know what I mean? They have all got families and they are out there to protect us, the British. Right? But oh no, no, that doesn't matter. Showed a police officer pointing out tails of gun and a man was laying on the ground. Onlookers could be heard shouting before an officer appeared to kick and stamp on the man's head. A person could be heard yelling, move back, before a female officer appeared to turn her taser and aim it at other people. I didn't see any of that. Armed officers were then seen using force to restrain a second man who was sitting nearby. Uh, that second man was the one who was punching the crap out of that police officer in his head and face. But oh no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that police officer being assaulted. Just worry about the fact that 
he got a kick in the leg off that officer to get him on the floor. That's all. That's all we've got to worry about. Right? Don't worry about him being this police officer being assaulted or anything like that. Right? So, there was around 200 people in attendance at outside that police station. Well, I'm sorry to say, there's going to be another bit of a movement going today. And that is another story. But, all I wanted to say is to show you, again, we'll watch it again. This is going back at slow speed. Right, they go up to him. They go to arrest him. Nope, nope, not having it. You're not arresting me. I haven't done nothing wrong. Nope, no. Nope. He's stupid enough to resist an arrest from an armed airport police officer. <coughs> now, these guys aren't called out for minor little squabbles. These guys are called out because there's uh, something happening. Then his brother here, that's his brother. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got the laser gun. What? Right? Bump. One, two, three. That officer had just took literally. Ten shots and more hits to his head. Right, so I'm sorry, I don't feel sorry for these two guys. I don't. If you come to our country, abide for our laws. If you get approached by police officers, put your hands up. Okay, sir. Right, okay. We're listening. Right? Do what they say. They are not called out for petty little squabbles. They are called there for a reason. Not because, oh, you can't get your ticket out of the machine. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let you have your discussions. Let me know in the comments. Let me know your views, your opinions, and... Have they changed since seeing that first video where he kicked and stamped on his head to seeing this video? Has your opinions changed? Let me know in the, video, in the comments. If you haven't already liked this video, share it. And if you haven't, if you're not already subscribed, please do so.